In a story you'll see only on 10, our Aisha Tolliver investigates after allegations medics didn't follow protocol when responding to a shooting in Newport News. It is a mistake that could have been a matter of life or death for one man. She reveals who was reprimanded and what changes the department made in part two of her investigation. On October 15th, 2023, police say 39 year old Quandrell Williams of Smithfield was found with a gunshot wound behind this home off Garden Drive in Newport News. Williams was transported to a local hospital where he died 10 days later. Now nearly six months later, we learned that wasn't the whole truth. Newport News Police Chief Steve Drew and Interim Fire Chief Wesley Rogers sat down exclusively with me last Friday to talk about what happened for the first time. When medics responded and they found Mr. Williams, they declared Mr. Williams deceased. Uh, after some time of being on the incident, they realized that Mr. Williams was not deceased. Rogers says the employees who were on that scene were immediately placed on administrative leave. And by the end of it, at least two senior firefighter medics were let go. Why not reprimand? everyone that responded and didn't stop and say, hey, something's not being done right. Those employees, everybody on that scene through the internal investigation went through the discipline process. While steps were taken to investigate what happened within the fire department, we learned police didn't sit down with William's family to talk about the delay in help until 10 on your side got involved. William's sister says now the family is aware and working on it, but didn't want to say anything further. Is there a chance that Mr. Williams could still be alive today had the paramedics, the firefighters, those who responded to the scene acted per protocol and not waited or not declared him dead on arrival. We can't make that determination, right? That's got to be done by physicians and doctors who, who, can, who can determine that. Uh, from what we were told uh, from the attending physician that was there that that bullet killed Mr. Williams. A bullet from a gun police allege was shot by 35 year old Lacavius Charity. If this is your first time hearing that news, it's because it was never released to the public. On December 15th, Charity was charged with second degree murder. I received the arrest update just a few weeks ago. Is there a concern at this point, considering the mess up that happened, that the murder charge wouldn't stand? Well, I talked to one couple attorney on the phone and then uh, had a short conversation with Mr. Gwen just a couple weeks ago. I can tell you, I don't want to talk about anything about that court case. Charity declined to interview from jail. Rogers and Chief Drew say the situation had nothing to do with a cover up. We knew that that the family was going to be see it in the courtroom, that they're going to see everything. So, so okay. that that's the time to address it is, is to make them aware of that prior to them walking into a courtroom and seeing it for the first time. Rogers says all of this has led to operational changes, starting with the most senior medical officer always responding to those types of calls. That individual was responding to the call, but they were canceled upon the DOA assignment. Rogers says they were able to hire an operational medical director as well, who gives them the authority to practice under their license. I'm, I have to be able to talk about what happened, and I don't want to hide anything for the sake of the family, uh, the sake of everybody involved and for the citizens of this city. Rogers also says the Virginia Office of EMS was made aware early on of the findings. Right now, we're still working to learn if the certifications of those involved were revoked. It's also important to note firefighters are not criminally or civilly protected. But as of now, there are no criminal charges filed against anyone who responded at this time. People that wear this uniform, we don't always get it right. But our job is to be better tomorrow than we were than we are today, and we should be better today than we were yesterday. I'm Aisha Tolliver. It's on your side.